This week, our devotion will be based on questions. I'm going to ask uh, a lot of questions, and we will attempt to answer them. The first of those questions is, who are you? John chapter 1, verse 22. Then they said to him, who are you? That we may give an answer to those who sent us. What do you say of yourself? How would you respond to that question? Who are you? Sometimes we answer the question by stating our name. Other times we state our gender, or we state our ethnic group, or we will state our vocation. Other times we answer by talking about the group we belong to or a relationship with somebody else. All of those answers give an indication of parts of who we are, but who really are you? So our text is based on a question that was asked John the Baptist, the Jews sent priest to go and ask him, who are you? Because John had been a prophet, uh, people had gathered around him, the people were in anticipation of a Messiah, so they wanted to know whether John was the person uh, that they thought he would be. And so they asked him, who are you? It's a very important question because if you don't know who you are, people will make you whom they want you to be. So who are you? Who are you before God? And how do you place yourself in the light of God's will? And so for us as Christians, there has to be a way for us to answer this question. Uh, if somebody should ask me, who are you? Or ask you, who are you? There has to be a way to answer those questions. I'm going to give you three suggestions as to how to answer those questions. So who are you? First, I am made in the image of God. I'm made in God's image. That is our first identity. Our first identity is related to God who made us. We didn't make ourselves. We were made by God. And he didn't make us to be like our, our friend or to be like our teacher or to be like our tribe or to be like some other thing. He made us to look like himself. So God wants our identity not to be related to uh, the things that we know in life, but to be related to him. He made us in his image. That's our first identity. We are who we are because God made us. Secondly, my second identity, I'm redeemed by faith in Christ. The image of God is general to all. All human beings are unique, created in the image of God. But not all human beings are redeemed through Christ. Because in the Garden of Eden, mankind fell from the image of God. And Christ came to redeem us to himself. So, yes, God made me in his image. But in Christ, I discover my true identity because he reconnects me to God. What was lost is reclaimed in Christ Jesus. I am made in God's image. I am redeemed by faith in Christ. And the third... I am an ambassador for the Lord Jesus Christ. That talks about my mission and your mission too if you're a Christian, that God doesn't just redeem you, but he recruits you to work with him. Isn't it an awesome idea to be an ambassador of God? Not of your government, not of your company, not of your family. God is the one who has sent you. You are on God's mission. You're redeemed by Christ and you're God's image. I think that's a pretty good identity and a pretty good way to answer, who are you? And tomorrow we'll ask another question, and we will answer it. Let's share a word of prayer together. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you are the source of my being. I belong to you fully. Use me for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. What a good way to start the week. You know who you are now. I'm Pastor Mesa Otterville. Shalom, peace, and life to you.